What's going on you guys? I hope you all are doing well. And just before I begin this video, I would like to say I'm sorry if you hear any background noises such as a dog barking or just anything because I've tried recording this video like five or six times already and then something has happened literally every time I press play to record. And I don't know. But anyway, so this is going to be a beat breakdown of the last beat that I posted on my channel called Watching Football on Sundays. And this was requested by a couple of people, so I hope you all enjoy it. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. With this beat, I wanted to create something that was that sounded happy and uplifting. It's called Watching Football on Sundays now. Unlike me, my team's Sundays haven't been that pleasing or satisfactory. But anyways, not, not to dwell on that, you know, Cam. Okay, anyways. <laughs> all right so with this beat i started out with the african chant loop which was i found it in one of my drum kits now i want to say it was rascal's drum kits or one of in one of his drum kits but please don't hold me to that if it wasn't i'm sorry i don't remember where i got it from and which kit but nonetheless i found it so uh this was basically the stample or the main point of the song i built the chords the drums and everything else around it um, so I'm going to go ahead and play it for you without any effects on it so you, you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, and that, that again was, wasn't with any effects. Now I'm going to turn the effects on. Now, I'm not sure if you heard it, but I had some reverb in there. And then, of course, the tape stop, which is all automated right here. And then, of course, well, not of course, but I have a simple bandpass filter um, automated as well. And then with this, I just did some slight EQing, you know, cutting out the highs and then cutting out the lows. Not too fancy. So going in or well, leading with that, I wanted to build some chords around it. And so I did. Now. People ask me frequently, how do you build chords around a sample? And generally what I say is listen for the root note of it or listen for the melody. And if you have a keyboard or something up, try pinpointing the melody. Try playing with it. Try playing with the bass note. And then you will eventually learn to stack chords or stack triads um, on top of the root note, which is essentially building a triad chord or a seventh, ninth chord, on, so on and so forth. So... I'm going to go ahead and play you that with the, I'm going to play the sample with the chords. Now, if you can't necessarily hear it based off that, I'm going to play the chords by themselves and I'm going to try to hum the melody with it just so you can get an idea of how they go together. So. So listen. Yeah. Well, that was, that was probably was kind of bad, but yeah. So those two tones from the sample and then from the chorus, they're building off of one another, I say. Um, and then I have, I stacked those chords in a VST called Harmless, but I don't have the full version of Harmless. So what I did was record those chords and then I recorded it into Edison and then dragged it out into the playlist as an audio file. So that's what you heard here. <laughs> And essentially the same chords as the rose. Okay, and building off of that, of course you have the wind chime, and then I have this perk slash or perk and kiss hat, and then a chant going on. So use a perk and the hat by itself. Okay. 
And again, a lot of this is about sound selection as well. So depending on what style you're going for, if you, you want to have a hip hop element with some R and B, you know, choose some some what to say, some tambourines or shakers, shake noises, and then some perks, percussions. So that got that going on, and then a regular chant that I'm sure you have all heard before or used. Okay, got that going on. And then moving on, I added some bass to it. And I used a VST called Bass Station. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find a free, free version of it somewhere on the internet. But, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I got the bass going on. Uh, if I can find it. Here we go. And I have that layered with the sub bass as well. And just to give you an idea of what it sounds, what the power bass sounds like without the bass. And then the bass alone. Got that going on. Then I also had another sample chosen. And I think it was from the same kit. But again, I, I don't remember to be quite honest with you. So I'm going to turn off the effects for it. And then here's what it sounds like. Another one of those funky samples to go along with the African chant sounds like. So I have that. And I use that as a transition from this intro to where the drums kick in. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it all for you up until the drums and we'll get into that. okay now moving on to the drums i kept it simple i think and i tried to build it off of the actual african chant loop um and not get too crazy with it so here's the drums without the chords just keeping up with the metronome as well tick 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 Again, didn't want to get too heavy with the hat work as well. I'm going to add the chords now. Now here's where it get it got kind of funky because I added the African chant loop. What? No, I didn't. I added the other the male chant loop into it, plus an arp, and then some snare rolls, and it just got it got kind of hectic. So I'm gonna try to explain this the best way I can. So we got the chords still going on, but I also added this arp. And hold on, gotta mute and unmute all this just to make sure we're getting we're hearing the right things. So here's the tonal elements with the sample. Um, Arp. All right, and then I'm gonna add on the drum elements one by one. So that Arp helps with pace. So the 
ARP is going kind of fast along with the sample, and that helps when you're building the drum loops, not drum loops, the drum elements around it. Say you, if you want a faster hi-hat, some snare rolls, it just helps with the pace and the timing. So and I also managed to find a perk loop that was just as fast, or if not slower, I think. Let me see my hair. Yeah, it's kind of slower. Just to, again, complementing each sound. Okay, so got some stereo on the sample. That's why you hear in the left side of your headphones. Okay, basic EQing, reverb, and then a triangle low pass filter. Now, going on to more sounds. Again, I'm just setting the tone, setting the pace. And then, of course, the favorite part. this and then I'm going to the 808 and the kick which I mean the kicks are the same as before for the 808 again I'm just going along with the melody and using some of the same notes that was in the chorus not getting too crazy with it as I may do on occasion so so we got that going on and um, okay, I'm gonna play it from here up into this, I don't know, little section. I don't know what to call it, so. Also forgot to mention this ARP, which from was from Citrus, I think. Yeah, no. Oh, Silence. Okay, well, it was from Silence. No, okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was Citrus. I don't know why I had the other ARP right there. So Citrus ARP, I'm sure it's one of the default ones. Well, one of the ones over here. I don't remember which one, but um, yeah. So, and I also have that panned. You can see this ARP stitches panning automation. Have it going left to right, but I'm not sure if you can really hear it. Anyways, moving on to this section, I removed the 808 and then added the bass back and then added some bell chords and then some soul, well, quote unquote, selection chords, which is a preset that I made in silence. So I'm going to go ahead and play you the chords solo. Uh, da, da, da. Again, I'm sorry if it is not quick enough, but. Okay, yeah. So I use the silent art for this this section. I remember now. But anyway, this bell chorus again was from Harmless, and it was I forgot the preset for that one, but it's essentially the same chorus as the, as these selection chords here, with some slight alteration. Okay, can't hear that. Why can I not hear my selection chords? I don't know. Hold on. Well, I don't know why I can't hear that. But you can hear it in the beat that I posted. But anyways. Um, so yeah, I got that going on. Then I got the bass stacked onto it. Then the chant. And then again, I added some drums back into it. And I, when I started this section, I wanted to go with the EDM hit, so where you had the kick constantly going. So, boom, 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 did a dum bum. You know how that sounds. But I ended, whoops, I ended up not going with that. 
and just in settled for this. And then the rest of this beat just basically rolled out plus this little interview section um, from Cam, my man's Cam. Um, I am a Panther fan, by the way, if you didn't catch that hint already. But, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I let that ride, ride out. Then I added a tail end automated scroll speed right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. Right here. So it's going dun, 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 like the pitch is going to change just a little bit. So I'm going to let it ride out for you. Yeah, it sounds fuller with the Soul Action Co chorus, but I don't know why they aren't playing. We will be back, and I mean that. Like we will be. You you can catch that drift drift if you listen to the whole beat. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm sorry for any again some technical difficulties. I don't know why this sounds not playing. Uh, silence, silence. Let's see if I can. Again, these are all the preset sounds right here, and then I created my own. Uh. Alright, this isn't the exact sound, but it's hopefully close enough. <laughs> Close enough but anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video if you would like something else like this and that's a tutorial a beat breakdown on how to do anything um just let me know leave a comment leave a message hit me up and all that good stuff so again i hope you enjoyed this and i'll chat with you all later